Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part 2 of the 2022 AFCON uh, jersey review. This is the group where I only have one team and that's what I'm wearing. It is uh, Senegal, however I arranged three jerseys up there to kind of have the color of another team in there. In Guinea, uh, in Guinea and Mali, basically it's the same flag, just switched around and Senegal's flag is also not too far from, from that. You know, a lot of uh, <laughs> um, green, yellow and red floating around. Again, we will have four different suppliers <laughs> for one of the teams. I don't even know how the supplier is called and I cannot even make it out on the picture. Uh, so we'll see about that. But it will be an interesting one. Uh, just a note, I almost was about to buy a... Uh, Zimbabwe shirt and then in the end I decided against it although it would have been rather cheap at classic football shirts but it would have been another green one I want to actually have a yellow because as you can see green is definitely the dominant color not that the green is a bad color but I like my backgrounds a little bit more colorful I would say we dive in and we actually will start in Guinea or, who uh, changed to Mazita uh italian company as far as I, I i know and the jerseys from mazita have actually a little bit of feel of uh turn of the century 2000s uh to it with you know the color in, in the national colors which i really like uh then you have a simple shirt and then there's a little shape in there uh which i gotta say looks a little bit odd because one is, is uh green outlined with gold and then the gold is outlined with gold, so it kind of looks odd. Uh, sleeve cuffs, of course, are in yellow slash gold as well. But the big feature, of course, is I'm not sure how well you can uh, see it, is the huge elephant on there, which, again, will elevate the jersey immediately for me. However, I gotta say with this little, I mean, the shape I could actually do without. If this would just be without those um, little shards going in there, this would be a pretty excellent shirt but uh, the shards kind of look odd and for that reason uh despite the elephant and the elephant lifted a lot i gotta go uh six uh, stars here um the away jersey in white uh, is actually a whole lot better this one is actually pretty picture perfect the only thing is white is not necessarily a national color but you know uh you kind of need it to uh, have a little bit of um, uh differentiation I really, really like this one. You have the big elephant, you have the nice uh, flag collar. Maybe the sleeve cuffs could have a flag too. But other, other than that, it's a pretty strong looking shirt. Uh, I think I'm gonna go, yeah, just because it's white, seven. But uh, it, 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 is, it is really nice. I really love that, 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 that one. And then I think the yellow one, uh, it uses the shards as well. But here it does look better. Uh, because you have the two contrasting colors, but what is missing here is that one of the sleeve cuffs would be green. You know, make an all green set, make an all red set, and have the uh, the flag up, up 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 top. It's still a pretty cool shirt. I gotta go uh, with seven here. Then we come to the team Malawi, where I actually have no idea how the supplier is called. Please, if you have an, an idea, uh, drop a line below. I tried to fig figure, figure it out now, but I couldn't really. But I gotta say, and I'm not even sure if this is the current shirt, uh, but you know, I, again, I get, get, get all, all the pictures from Footy Headlines, so I do trust that they did their homework there. I gotta say, uh, Malawi, the, the, the flag of theirs is of course black, red and green, so uh, you would expect a jersey to kind of reflect it, and I really like that, that, that one. Um, my problem with that one, it tries two things at once. You have the big center stripe with the, in black with the green outline, which I think is fine. But then why do you have the uh, diagonal uh, striping there? That is maybe the, the thing that is a teeny bit too much for me. But other than that, I gotta say this is for an unknown brand, a pretty decent jersey. Uh, still, as I said, it tries too much. Uh, I would say five stars here. Um, the away jer jersey I, I actually is a little bit better because here um, it, the striping doesn't, the, the diagonal uh, striping doesn't uh, bother me as much. So uh, here it's other, otherwise it's the same, same, same thing. But I do like this one, uh, teen, teen, but I think it looks better. Um, and for that reason, I can actually live with it, and I'm gonna go uh, with seven here 
Now we'll go to the seeded team Senegal. Uh, still, the, it's kind of part of this Puma range uh, crafted by a culture. And we'll see that most of the Puma shirts are very out there. Now the Senegal shirt uh, staying in white and just having a little hint of national colors in there with some um, potentially uh, cultural pattern on there is probably the best looking one of it, but it's a little bit of too much of a hodgepodge to me. Uh, I think this is where Puma went a little bit a tad too far in a way. Uh, but among the Puma shirts, uh, this might actually be one of the better ones uh, to be honest as well. So I am very, very split on this one. It's not one that appeals to me. You know, this appeals to me uh, with a, a big ass lion print. And I actually have to have to say the one that they just uh, quickly uh, manufactured for the last World Cup that they used and also also the AFCON also looked uh, more appealing to me than uh, this one actually does. So hmm, what can I tell you? Uh, it's a little bit disappointing, uh, but on the on, on the other side, I like the play with it, but it's not one that I would go for. I would say we'll go with, with five stars here, and this might well be the winning jersey, as we'll see. Um, then the away jersey, I don't like the colors or the, the, the choices for green. It's the kind of this uh, muddy green and then also the yellow Lincoln green that they used for, for the Czech Republic up there. And then the same pattern. I mean, the pattern here looks good, but uh, this one I don't like because of the colors um, and then you know the crest actually sticks out too much <sighs> is this one of the worst shirts potentially I don't really like this one three stars I hate to say it because I actually really would like Senegal to finally do some, something Let, let's look at something more spectacular Umbro and Zimbabwe call me crazy but having a flag paint on there makes this Jersey and absolute stand out to me. I do love this jersey. I really, really do love this jersey. Uh, it is different. It is a little bit out there, uh, but there is something about it that I like because you have the yellow, then you have a lot of the uh, black, uh, red, black, red uh, with a little bit green thrown through it. So, so you get always a little bit of Zimbabwean flag. Totally love this one. This is to me a nine star and among the list of jerseys that I would actually like, I wouldn't mind uh, really, really getting. The away jersey though, that's a step too far. This is where Umbro took it a step too, too far. This is one that just is more confusing than anything. Uh, you have kind of this grid pattern layover. Um, nah, not, not really my style and I'm uh, missing the red. I think if some of the white would be red, I think I could live with it more. So while the base color is green and you can I understand it, I would actually replace me with the white with the red and you could have something there. But so to me, this looks just too messy. Others might disagree, but to me, this looks too messy and goes straight into the four pile. Uh, yeah, I'm, I know. I'm uh, contradicting myself. Uh, I do like the third jersey in white a little bit more because again, uh, you have a pattern in there and you have kind of this triangle from the flag. So a uh, great standout design there. Um, would I wish a teeny bit more color? Maybe, but I think it is uh, all right. And for that reason, I think it's not exciting, but it, it does something special. For that reason, I'm gonna go with six stars here. And we're through with another group. So this is again where you come in. Please let, let me know which jerseys in here did you like? Which ones did you think? Yeah, maybe um, not so great. Uh, Roland, you were completely off here. Any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.